Over the last few weeks, I had an urge to play something fitting for the holiday season, and what better game than the first division? I went back to see how this game holds up, so in this video, I'm going to break down why I think it's absolutely worth playing the division in 2024. First off, let's talk about the incredible world building and attention to detail that the division has always been known for. Even in 2024, the post-pandemic New York City remains a visually stunning and immersive playground. The level of detail in the environment from the destroyed buildings to the overgrown streets and verticality to the city creates in an atmosphere that truly pulls you into the game's narrative. While exploring the streets of NYC, you can even find echoes of the past events digitally reconstructed. My favorite of them all is the evidence you receive for completing story missions, which gives you more info on the first wave of division agents, some factions, and even the virus that caused it all. Now, when it comes to gameplay, the division has undergone some significant updates and improvements over the last few years. The gunplay feels more polished, the enemy AI is smarter, and there is a decent variety of missions and activities. Whether you're a solo player or teaming up with friends, there's always something to do in this world. One of the most noticeable improvements in the division is how surprisingly satisfying gun mechanics felt. Whether you're unloading a magazine into a group of enemies or precisely landing headshots from a distance while in cover, the gunplay is both intuitive and rewarding. You also have a decent amount of skills and talents at your disposal. Anything from healing yourself and others, deploying a tactical shield, or even throwing down an auto turret or some sentry grenades that seek out enemies. There's a little bit of something for everyone. Speaking of firefights, I wanted to talk about how AI reacts. The AI in this game continues to impress me. The AI showcases a level of intelligence and adaptability that keeps you on your toes at all times. Enemies react to any type of movement that you make, realistically to to your tactics, whether it's taking cover, flanking maneuvers, or even calling in reinforcements. With this type of AI, it really does help contribute to a more engaging and unpredictable world where you can't really rely on the same tactics for every encounter. You also have a decent variety of enemy types and factions to up go up against. For example, when fighting the cleaners, you should keep a distance from them as most cleaners are equipped with flamethrowers and can easily burn and kill you up close. And watch out once you reach the higher levels because enemies can get pretty challenging at times and they do tend to have a lot more health than yourself. Shifting back to the world building, I wanted to highlight one more thing in the division with that being Times Square. In 2024, Times Square remains a focal point showcasing the devastating impact of the pandemic and the ensuing chaos that occurred. The iconic location that has been decently recreated, offering a blend of eeriness and, and beauty. You've got neon lights that light up the city that are now flickering sporadically or casting long shadows on the streets from the skyscrapers nearby. Navigating through the heart of Times Square brings a sense of both nostalgia and, and eeriness, making it a visually striking and emotionally charged battleground for intense encounters. For most of my playtime, I've been playing with co-op with my friend Pat, and we've been having a great time. Periodically, we'll see other players hanging out in even the safe houses too. I checked the Steam charts for a recent player count and it seems to be around an average of a thousand players each day. Granted, that is just Steam, and this game's been out for quite a while on, on Ubisoft's launcher. Either way, the story missions, encounters, and even side missions all play seamlessly and great with another party member. Overall, replaying this game has been a ton of fun in 2024. It really is hard to believe at times that this game released eight years ago. It absolutely holds up, and whether you've never played it before or you've only played the second game, I I highly suggest checking out New York City in 2024. For now, that's going to be it though. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like on it, subscribe for more like this, and as always, thanks for watching.